good day day children how are you all today I start to say good morning it is still morning here it hasn't got down to afternoon yet so I can say good morning to you this morning or whatever time you're watching this today I'm just glad you're watching now our story today is father Abraham I'll show you a little picture of father Abraham sitting there a little sheep father Abraham was somebody very special to God and one day, God decides to speak to Abraham. He told Abraham to leave his country that he was in and go to a land that God would show him. So God was going to show him where to go in this land. And he told Abraham, I will bless you and make your family into a great nation. See, that's what our country is. It's a nation. The United States is a nation. And he was going to make him have a great nation. So Abraham obeyed God and did as God said. He picked up everything that he owned and he went to where God told him to go. So God had told Abraham one night, look up at the sky. There are so many stars. And as we look in the sky, if we live in places where we can see the stars, sometimes there's so much smog and... <laughs> fog in the sky you can't see the stars but if you live somewhere where the, the nights are beautiful and clear you can look up in the sky and you can see many many stars and he told Abraham look up in the sky there are so many stars if you could not count them he told him he will have that many children and he, and he said you will you know and you won't be able to count them all and he meant from his children would have more children and more children and more children and more children and go from there. Their children have children, their children have children, and they would be all under him, his nation. So Abraham was so puzzled he didn't understand this because him and his wife were very old. They had no children at their age. They figured it was impossible to have children. But God, with God, we know everything is possible. So Abraham at the time did not know the things that we know for the reason that we read them in the Bible and we learn them. Back then they had none of this knowledge, so they were going by what God had told them. And they have to try to believe God. Back then they didn't have a choice, you know. God talked to you, you felt like God was telling you the truth and you did what God said. Right now he tells us the truth and we should do what God says. But some people don't believe in God or they don't believe his word. And don't believe that he means this or means that. But God does. So anyway, you always got to believe God's word. So he went on and he told Abraham later that he would have children. And he did. He was a hundred years old when Sarah had a baby. Abraham was a hundred. And they had a little baby boy. Just as God had promised them. And his name was Isaac. See, nothing is too hard for God, even though it might be hard for us to imagine anything like things happening to us or something good happening in our life. It's not too hard, hard for God to have that happen. God can do anything. And Abraham believed God. He really did. So we need to say to ourselves, I believe what God says. Can you say that with me? I believe what God says. That's what we got to do. So now what I'm going to do, children, is, and you will find this story. Let me tell you where you can find the story in your Bible. Genesis chapter 12, chapter 15, and chapter 21. It talks about Abraham. So if you have a little children's Bible and it has a lot more in it and you want to read about Abraham and his life, that would be a good thing. And we're going to do the song... It's called Father Abraham. And then tomorrow, our lesson is going to be on Abraham and Isaac. And he was the rock of my soul, it says, which he's talking about really God is his rock. So we'll study that one tomorrow. But today we're going to do this one. And the song is Father Abraham's song. And um, it's an interesting song. So Miss Linda's going to try to do it. You have to help me. Okay? So it starts out. Father Abraham, uh, wait a minute, get my mouth right, my tongue out of my teeth. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. You are two. 
So let's all praise the Lord. And it's going to say right arm. So you're going to put your right arm out. And then you're going to go, Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And you are too. So let's go praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's go praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm. And you can do your right foot. Take it out, okay? I'll stand up here when we get ready to do the music and we'll do it together. How's that? So Father Abraham, and you kind of move your right foot with it. Father Abraham had many sons and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so I am one of them and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left hand, right foot, left foot. And this one goes, sit down. Now there's more to it if you go to YouTube. There's more of these little songs that you can go on, and they'll have like maybe chin up, uh, or nod your head. I see one said nod your head or turn around But this one just does left foot and then sits down because it's doing a small version of the song So I'm gonna get the camera set up so you can watch me do it and we're gonna do it together So we're gonna come over here And I have to go get the music on real quick now my camera will come back where it belongs. There we go I hope you're not getting drunk. Well, it's not working right <laughs> It did it earlier Okay, let's get this here and let's go like, no, we don't want to do it. Well, let's try. I'm sorry. No, it's not wanting to do it. Let's see if I can get even half of me in here. I don't know why it won't sit up right. Well, we'll do what we can and we'll see. So get ready. Father Abraham had many sons. yourself but that is our lesson for today boys and girls I hope you had a good time I enjoyed doing a song with you maybe someday maybe after the end of this we'll do uh, the father Abraham song with all the extras I'll find it on YouTube maybe and I can do it for you okay so anyway that's it for today and we'll be back tomorrow with Abraham and his son Isaac and tell the story about that and we'll do the new, new song I think it's called rock my soul is a new song so i don't know about it but we'll see what it's all about so anyway y'all have a great day miss linda loves you remember say your prayers pray for our president pray for those who are sick those who are hurting pray for our country and remember most of all ask god to protect you and your family and keep his loving arms around you and always remember as we learned in abraham I will always believe in God. Always do that because he is our rock. Love you all. You have a great day. Bye-bye.